everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So while I've got the chance, I'm filming my August favourite. Yes, this is very late, I do apologise, but I did want to film it because I know how popular my favourite videos are. So I thought I'd film it anyway. So yeah, I've got all my favourites in this super dry cosmetics bag that I took away with me on holiday. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my August favourites. And if you want to see what I've been loving this month, please keep watching. I also want to say quickly, August has been such a busy month for me, I felt it's gone actually quite slowly. Like, I've seen a couple of other YouTubers' favourites videos for August and they've said the same thing, they felt that August has gone slowly. Normally, I sit here and go, oh my goodness, can't believe how fast it's gone, because normally the months fly by. But, I don't know, it's surprising that I've been so busy, yet it's gone slowly. Although I'm not looking forward to going back to school. Mm. So yeah, I've got everything in this bag. This bag is amazing, although it's already broken. It was only 2 dollars so it was really cheap. But the concept of this is amazing. So I just bunged all my favourites in here. And let's just get into it before I start rambling over nothing. So in no particular order, I'm just going to start with these that you can't see very well. These are the Sainsbury's Aloe Vera Eye Makeup Remover Pads. Now I thought I'd mention these because they're fragrance-free. So for sensitive skin, they're amazing. But also, the simple fact that I would recommend these over the super drug ones they're more expensive they're like one pound 30 a pack but they're so much better at taking eye makeup like eye makeup remover they're so much better at taking eye makeup off like my benefit eye makeup remover is good but i prefer this and it's so much cheaper so yeah these are really really good the fact that they've got aloe vera makes them so much more moisturizing and i'd recommend these to anybody looking for decent easy travel friendly eye makeup remover pads so yeah i'm loving these this month because i've obviously been going away a couple of times this holidays so i've needed something very travel friendly and these were very much loved next up is this bog standard primark nail polish remover is a pump nail polish remover acetone free i'll link my two primark hauls in the description if you haven't checked them out already my first primark hauls already smashed like 400 views i believe so like whoa so yeah got a pump pump it down and it's amazing i love it um my good friend here on youtube malika malika i'm so sorry she's my good friend and i can't even pronounce her name properly i'm so sorry but yeah i'll link her channel in the description she is amazing and she loves this also so if she loves it it's just gonna be amazing so yeah i bought this it's really good but the thing i love about it most is that there's no waste and also the nail polish remover in this is all right but it's the concept that i love the most because i'm gonna refill this with my own nail polish remover but it is still a favorite because it's still really easy and more convenient and very travel friendly because this lid actually stays on and it does not leak next up are eyelash curlers i never understood why so many people loved curling their eyelashes i was thinking oh my god you could rip them all out what the hell are you doing but these are the prettiest things these are rose gold from Primark. Once again, I will link my Primark haul in the description, both of them. But these are so good. Also, I'm not going to do it because I've got mascara on. But I curl them like that for like 10 seconds each um, before I put my mascara on. And it makes such a difference to my mascara application. I'm not joking because I suffer from some gaps in my eyelashes. But when I curl my eyelashes and then apply my mascara, my mascara, I feel, looks so much better. So, yeah. I love these. These are only a pound. They're rose gold. Look so beautiful with my makeup brushes. Why would you not want these? And they're only a pound and I'm not going to lie. It comes with like a refill pad. So when I've used this pad all up, like it gets too dirty that I cannot clean. Because I do clean it very regularly. But obviously there comes a point when it's just got too much makeup on it. I will use the refill pad and then I'll just buy another pair of eyelash curlers. Because this pad has already lasted me for ages. So it'll still last me for a while. But yeah, it comes with a refill pad and it's such good value for money. And I've been loving it this month. Being on the makeup application theme, I have got this one and only brush that I'm showing you for once in this favourites. And it is the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Chapman Buffing Brush. This is the best bloody brush ever i love this brush this comes with the core collection unfortunately you cannot get it on its own but you can get the expert face brush on its own and that's an amazing brush apparently so yeah but the core collection is around 20 pound 99 it's quite pricey but it's worth it trust me i got mine from tk maxx so i had to pay a bit cheaper but i would happily after having this brush pay full price for real technique brushes although i'll get them off amazon for cheaper but you know if i couldn't get them off amazon i definitely pay full price these are amazing i use this for foundation today and every day and then after i've done my foundation and done the rest of my face makeup i use this to blend it out like so and it just blends everything so evenly it makes sure i don't have a definitive line and it just applies makeup so amazingly i'm wearing my l'oreal foundation today which i'll show you in a second and this just applies it amazingly it just looks so airbrushed i feel 
and I love it. So yeah, I've been loving this brush. It definitely needs a good clean, don't judge. I wasn't gonna clean it for this video because I felt that was so, so fake, but yeah. So very dirty, but so very well. Next up is the only sort of its kind in this video. It is the butterfly perfume that I got from the carnival. I will link that vlog in the description and the haul vlog that I did that featured this in. I'm featuring a lot of videos and channels in my description. Eh, it'll be good for you. So yeah, this is the beautifulest packaging ever. You can't really see the writing, but yeah, it says butterfly on it and it smells amazing. I took this on holiday with me the second time when I went to Portland and I just use it non-stop and it hasn't even gone down that much. I'm going to be gutted when I, can't, I use it all up, but it smells a lot like a Marc Jacobs perfume that my mum has. So if you can get your hands on this and you love Marc Jacobs, I would recommend it because it's so affordable. As you know, I got like seven perfumes for 20 quid, which could sound quite dodgy, but actually I have very sensitive skin. I spray this on my arms and my clothes and I actually use it as a hair mist which might sound bad but it just it just smells gorgeous you know I just have to use it everywhere but it has not given me any rashes it's not irritating me at all so if you've got really sensitive skin and you're thinking oh my god dodgy alert honestly it works wonders and I absolutely love it in the bottle so cute so when this manky drawer set goes which it will be going soon and I get my new makeup storage this will be going on it pride of place is I believe the only skincare item I've got in here this is empty don't like go oh my god where's your full one i have got a backup that i've already started using but i thought this was a full one i put in here obviously not but this is a simple kind of eyes makeup remover the lighting is so bad you can't really see it but this is my holy grail eye makeup remover along with my eye makeup remover pads that i've just shown you this is amazing just go like da -da 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 on your cotton wool pads and it's gorgeous it removes it so nice and then i use the pads especially if i can't be bothered to do this off them so yeah i've been loving this obviously i've used all of it up now i'm collecting it for my empties video because i accidentally deleted the footage from my last one so i'm collecting more empties for the empties video so yeah been loving this and i have my backup that i'm using and loving also i've also got one nail polish to show you and this is my primark nail polish in blue this was like only 80p and it's so good it's looking more blue blue on camera but in real life it's a darker blue and you would have seen me with this on it is gorgeous with my top coat from primark it's so long wearing it lasted for like a week without chipping and when it did chip i was thinking this lasted for a week i'm using this again it's like amazing and it's i find nail polishes they can be quite thick but this is just the perfect consistency for me. That might sound really weird. But I love this. I would recommend it. Some of the Primark nail polishes, I'm not going to lie, are pretty crap. This one, though, I love. It's not streaky. I do do two layers. So I guess if I did one layer, it might be streaky. But I love it. It's easier to work with. And it was the best nail polish I've ever bought from there. On to makeup. This, you all knew from my raving about it in my daily vlogs. You knew this was coming. You just knew you were going to see this. This is the Little Mix Love All About the Eyes palette by Collection. This is a collab they did. You can't really see it. There we go. This has been very well loved and so is this one. This palette is in a right state. It is very well loved. Um, yeah. I've got it on my eyes today. I've got this shade on my eyes today. And these are the only two shades I really use because, I don't know, and they are Sunkissed and Dazzling Brown. And I just love them. This colour has like a rose gold effect, which I really love because that's more goldy than this one. But this palette is amazing. I can't believe I had it sitting in my makeup collection for so long. But this month I've been using it non-stop. It has been my holy, holy grail. And if you can get this off Amazon or eBay, I completely recommend it. Because I do apologise for raving about something you might not be able to get hold of anymore. So I haven't seen it in any boots or super drugs near me. But yeah. I love it. I recommend it if you can get your hands on it. If not, there are so many alternatives to this one. Collection eyeshadows are amazing. Shock horror. Told you you'd see this, guys. This is my infallible 24-hour matte L'Oreal foundation in 11 vanilla, the lightest shade. This is my holy grail foundation. I've now tried a couple, but this just stands out amongst all of them. It's got a really nice coverage, really nice texture. It doesn't feel thick or cakey on the skin. It just glides on, especially with my buffing brush. It's just gorgeous. It is a very runny foundation, like, you can see how much I've used it, the, like, pump thing is so messy. But it is quite runny, so do not move your hand too much when you pump it out, because it will slide down your hand. But once on your face and blended in, it's so natural, and I just love it so much. I went through a phase where I wasn't applying it right, because I started using my fingers to apply it. No, no, my buffing brush does such a better job. So yeah, I've been loving this this month. It's been my holy grail and it just looks so natural. And you can build up the coverage to be even higher. But I just do maybe one or two coats of it on my face and it's gorgeous. And I love it and I will be repurchasing it for the full price. 
about 10 pounds when I run out. It's just, oh my God. Try this if you haven't already. It's amazing and they do a very wide selection of shades. There we go, got it out eventually. Next up, I did say in my daily vlogs that this would be my favorite. It is the Revolution Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray. The packaging of this is gorgeous, I love it. And it doesn't, I've smelt some fixing sprays and they just smell chemically and disgusting. This doesn't have a scent, which I sort of like, because then I can't say, oh my God, it smells rank. But it's an amazing setting spray. I have it like this far distance away from you, from my face, I mean, because it does say have it at a distance. This says it lasts up for 12 hours. I definitely say it lasts up to 10. I guess two hours isn't much difference, but I haven't had it on for like my makeup on for like 12 hours. I've had it on for 10 using this and it lasts. Honestly, I can promise you that. So I just do that, that, that. I do like three sprays from a distance and that's all I need. And it dries so quickly, sets so amazingly. And I've had people actually comment when I went to work, um, not in Portland, my other job, and she went, your makeup looks so flawless. What are you using? And I'm like, Revolution Pro Fix it is incredible. It's five pounds and you get a hundred mil. What more could you ask for? And it's just the nicest packaging. And Revolution are doing so many nice products. Like everybody at first was going, oh my God, it's such a dub for MUA. Like why the hell do we need another one? But more people are turning towards Revolution now than MUA. I love MUA, don't get me wrong. So just so many other people has got such a cult following. The Revolution has got such a big fan base and I'm definitely one that going, yep, yeah, I love it. Could not fault it. There's obviously some things I don't like, that's like everything, but there's so many things I want to get from them. I'm going to see if they've got like a prime, wa prime water sort of thing. I think they do. Let me know in the comments if you know whether they do or not. I'm going into town tomorrow with my grandma, so I'll have a look at the Revolution counter. But um, yeah, this is amazing. Revolution is so good. If you have not tried any of their products, where have you been for like the last year? But if you haven't, that's absolutely understandable. It's so affordable. It ranges from £1 to £10, I believe. And the stuff you get, the contour palette is only £8. Like, really? I'm picking one of those up because the banana sort of yellow powder is good for saying guys. Anyway, yeah got this long ramble over it's amazing and revolution is gold lastly is my trusty kate moss in 03 long lasting lipstick as you would have known if you watched my daily vlogs i at first was not too sure about this color because i was thinking mm, it looks quite orangey do i like it do i not no 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 the questioning in my head has completely disappeared i frigging love this so so much it is gorgeous as you can see it's it's been used and there was a believe it or not I know I said there wasn't much product that wasn't much product to start with but this has gone down a fair bit and it's just the perfect nude I've got it on my lips today I eat and I drink with this on and it doesn't come off very much at all it doesn't go patchy and I top it up and it doesn't cake it's just the perfect lipstick it's quite pricey for what it is it's four no five pound 49 but Kate Moss lipsticks are just raved about by so many people and yeah the packaging is really pretty as well I love the packaging of this but yeah use this this month especially and I love it so much I would recommend Kate Moss lipsticks to anybody they're so moisturizing and so long wearing and 03 is the best nude shade I have ever ever tried of any of the lipsticks so yeah I love this so much I would recommend it to and that is everything for this August favorites I'm sorry if the quality wasn't great but what can you do I'm getting a studio light soon so there we go and I will see you very soon. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Let's start a conversation in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And let me know some of the things you've been loving in August as well. And don't forget to check out Malika's channel. I'm sorry if I'm pretending your name wrong. But go check her out. You know who I'm talking about. So yeah, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.